shit. Okay, so since my video won't pause, um, I'm basically going to be chilling, relaxing, and today on Reactors Mom, guys, we are going to be reacting to Controversy's new album. I think this is like uh, going to be um, pretty cool. So yeah. All right, so uh, we got a couple more uh, actual videos in this series reacting to Ricardo Bravo, but this one we're going to be reacting to Easily Distracted, um, Easily Distracted, and Everybody Was Ignorant. So we're going to basically react to this, get my glasses on so I can actually see this very better because I'm supposed to wear them whenever I watch TV. So yeah, let's get into Easily Distracted. This is Easily Distracted. Let's go. Uh, uh, okay. Controversy. Sounds like a game. Let's get it. All right. I'm the type of person that's easily distracted, disconnected mm. from reality. Really, I tend to obsess on everything I think about. Like imagining myself with a girl in a relationship, but that's never gonna happen. Mm. Well, can you blame me? When you've been rejected two times in your life, you start losing confidence in yourself. My mind travels from place to place. I have to get my head in the game or end up in the car crash like I almost did. A dream mm. of 17 and still make them as mistakes, but I still have dreams of rapping next to the greats. I'm losing myself in these thoughts of fame, constantly seeing myself performing in front of millions of people. The mind is quite powerful, taking control of my thoughts a lot. I feel trapped like two pockets, like the walls are talking. Nah, it's just me speaking to myself. Conversation is wealth, good for your health. I'm the type of person that's easily distracted, disconnected from reality. Really, I tend to obsess on everything I think about. Okay. And I don't need a psychiatrist, I just talk to the beats. Okay. Mentally and physically, I'm okay, but I feel like I'm astray from the world, trying to find a purpose in this life of mine. Mm. I'm happy, but it feels like the cup is half empty. Feeling like a cutie, the man on the moon, but when the day <laughs> not alone. Like you can have a personality of gold with a stone cold heart. What I'm saying is there's a lot of people that are not open, which is why a lot of suicides happen because those people don't have anyone to talk to. That's don't true. Get it twisted, cause I don't feel suicidal. I don't know, maybe I just want somebody to talk to. Could it be you, the girl that always seems to come into my dreams when I'm sleeping? <laughs> I'm the type of person what dreams? that's easily distracted, disconnected from reality. Really, I tend to obsess on everything I think about. And I don't need a psychiatrist, I just talk to the beats. Okay. Motherfucker, we was never social. I was one of those shy individuals trying to find happiness in the sickening society. Which maybe one day I'll attain, find the girl to ease the pain. Okay, okay, so that was easy to distract it, okay. So uh, one thing I want to actually say is that uh, Controversy basically explained uh, to me and to everyone in the rap community that this uh, album is basically like a Kendrick Lamar uh, type of like, um, Kendrick Lamar and uh, J. Cole and basically like a um, um, Tupac type of inspired album. Whenever he has that soft voice, it basically reminds me of uh, Kendrick Lamar. So yeah, actually pretty good. Um, so that song was just basically talking about like how he's... Uh, he how he's basically distracted. Okay, so um and multiple different other stuff. So we're just getting into everybody was ignorant uh, Come on buffering you can do this Wi-Fi you can do this No, my Wi-Fi is fucking up Okay, there it is Everybody was pretty ignorant You talked even though you didn't know shit. Okay, but if my name called me retardo Just cuz it rhymed with Ricardo Damn. All my life I was called that. Even my friends did the same. Damn. Stabbed me in the back. That's fucked. Never cared about my feelings and pain. Yeah. You dumb motherfuckers never knew the meaning of the word. You thought you were only dissing me. But in reality you were laughing at the mentally disabled kids of this nation. Because a retard is someone that has a mental disability and that wasn't me. It's all fun and games until an individual who's mentally ill comes out affected. That's what I'm saying. Your mouth is a weapon. Seven. Damn, it's true. Pretty ignorant. You talked even though you didn't know shit. Put with my name, call me Retardo. Just cause it rhymed with Ricardo. Mm. All my life I was called that. Even my friends did the same. Stabbed me in the back. 
never cared about my feelings and pain, yeah, people nowadays say and do stupid things without actually thinking about the ones affected, and they wonder why we're like this, fighting depression and feeling suicidal, I'm not like this, but the situation is vital, we have to fix it, the boy named Angel who was never pure, put on the bowl Ricardo and called him a retard just cause he repeated the first grade, along with his friends I ate, but that mm. was a long time ago, when Ricardo didn't like school and fooled around, now he's a straight ace and Angel is a troublemaker with shit grades and who also vapes. That's pretty fucked up, bro. Though, for real. Like, you can't call someone retarded, because it's just fucked. Everybody was pretty ignorant. You talked, even though you didn't know shit. Mm. You played with my name, called me Retardo. It's because it rhymed with Ricardo. For mm. the rest of my life, I was called that. Even my friends did the same. Okay, so it wasn't my volume. It's just fading out. Okay, okay, okay. That was actually pretty cool. Um, it was actually pretty decent. Like, you know, his track of like saying, "God damn it!" Like, fuck off! Like, stop. So, uh, we still have time to react to at least one more track. So we're gonna be reacting to "Life Was Easy." Let's get this shit. Cause we're at six minutes. Dang. Remember when life used to be easy, man? Yeah, As life kid, was easy. No worries. No problems. No stress. Yeah. Those are the good times, alright? Actually, not for me. But it's different now. I remember life used to be easy. For me and my friends, we were just kids hanging from 7 to 10 p.m. Yeah, we had fun. We never gave a fuck. We were like young ducks as our parents paid their taxes. There was no struggle, honest. Think back to when I had no problems, no dramas. When summer came, it was hot. The water balloons would go pop. I remember busting out the Nerf gun, shooting at my beeps to cool off. Relaxing, <laughs> never stressing. Sipping on lemonade, and my parents did the hard work. Now I'm reminiscing on better days when life was enjoyable, actually tolerable. As a kid, I had it easy. Now that I'm older, life is more tougher. Yeah. I have to start thinking about the future. Will I be taking orders filled with nonsense from the boss in the office? Or will I pursue a career in rapping? In the mm. end, it's all about pursuing your passion, I guess. I still have time, but I better That's think true. of what I want in my life fast. Everybody will have graduated with their dream job already in mind. I don't want to be left behind to the side like a guest at best. I should do something that will allow me to make a living and to not be in a situation where I'm doing nothing and still living with my parents. I want my independence. I've gotten used to them covering the expenses, but sooner or later we'll have to spread my wings and leave the nest. Okay. They won't be here forever. I'll have to get smarter as I adapt to the stress of life, which okay. is only getting harder. So my advice to the youth is enjoy being a kid while you still can. Make the most of every moment because you grow up fast. Your childhood yeah. won't last. And once you're an adult, you'll understand what your parents had to go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically. I said, you'll understand what your parents had to go through. That's right, man. Value your childhood while you still can. Yeah. Because sooner or later, we all have to grow up. Yeah. We all have to yeah. grow up, man. Controversy. We out. I'm out. <laughs> I knew that. I knew he was gonna say that. All right, so we have time for one more. All right, so we're gonna react to parents don't understand. All right, parents don't understand. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Let's get it. To be honest, I feel like our parents will never understand the passion and dedication we put into this rap shit. The past yeah. debate is captivating, truly amazing, but they just don't get it. They think I'm wasting time, not doing anything, at least it has been the case for me. I can't get easy money quickly, you see, it's not that easy, Dad. It's a process making a hit, it's not an easy thing to do, but you just have no clue. At least be grateful I don't do drugs or rape, I ain't a bad kid. And yes, I will admit that maybe it ain't healthy to spend the entire morning rapping and making music. I should start thinking about my future a little bit. But okay. if I spend a lot of time rapping, it's because I'm working on my sound, my flow, and making sure my voice goes with the instrumental. So I yeah. can give the people the best phenomenal sound.
cited me as an artist. Hopefully one day they cite me as the greatest. And to any other aspiring rapper out there, here's my advice to you. If your parents don't approve of you putting so much time into this, just know that there's a generational gap too hard to fill in. It's not easy making your parents understand your passion, especially if it's hip hop. Yeah. Okay. Our parents will never understand the passion and dedication we put into this rap shit. The captivate is captivating, truly amazing, but they just don't get it. But it's okay, cause everybody's different. And I know it's frustrating, but you can't expect the newborn to be walking as soon as it's born. This mentality mm. applies to every individual as well. It takes time for them to understand the struggle and what you're going through. Don't expect them to know as soon as they see you. Everything okay. requires questioning and explaining. They can't force it out of you at will. You have to talk about it like in Dr. Phil. Okay. To my parents, even if you still don't get why I put so much time into this, I want you to know that I'm not just planning to do rapping as a career, that I'm also interested in other professions, such as computing. So don't be quick to jump to conclusions, thinking I ain't thinking about my future, because I am. I just okay. like open with you guys. What? Did you forget I was quiet? My parents will never understand the passion and dedication we put mm. into this rap shit. The craft of it is captivating, truly amazing, but they just don't get it. But it's okay, because everybody's different. Yeah. Okay, okay. You guys are the J Pictures. So that was my reaction to, uh, <laughs> I think this is like part three or part four or something. Um, but um, yeah, that was Ricardo Bravo. We reacted to easily distracted, everybody was ignorant, life was easy, and parents don't understand. So you guys are the J Pictures. I switch you guys on, and have a nice day.